Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the brand new 2020 reprint of the Hidden Fates 10s. And the question is, are they good or are they bad? Let's find out. What's up guys, it's your boy Pogo Dad, and today we got the 2020 reprint 10s. We're going to go through them, we're going to see if they are good or if they're bad. See if they have good quality, bad quality, good pull rates, bad pull rates. We're going to find out today. So this is one of the reprints. One of the ways to find out is you can see that the promo kind of shakes. And if you look down up under there, you see like a honeycomb textured, kind of like this but it's black with yellow lines. That means it is the brand new reprint. This is one from back in the day. These have the plastic. These are from the like the first and second run of these tins. So yes, that is what those look like. So let's go ahead and get into our first tin. We're gonna start it off with the Raichu. We're gonna do all three today once I get the plastic off. The only thing that I've seen from the outside that's a little bit different you really can't tell. The colors are just a tad bit more vivid, but that's the only way you can tell. But once you open it, you can obviously tell. You got the honeycomb looking cardboard. They got rid of all the plastic. And look, it has this cardboard thing that holds all the packs. So you get four packs of Hidden Fates. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got a whole art set. But yes, that is what the promo looks like. You can just pull it in the middle and it comes out. There's your code card. And let's see how Raichu does. Let's see if Raichu can bring us some fire. Let's go guys, Hidden Fates. My most favorite modern set so far. So let's see what we can get today. Let's see if we can get us some shiny full arts. Let's see if the quality is good or bad. I have opened up a few of these already and I have noticed that some of the cards are kind of off-centered. So let's see. How these look today hope you guys are having an amazing day let's go we got a pikachu club fairy reverse slow poke so no shiny and we got a regular rare blaine's last stand all right new two pack now mm, these packs open up lovely there you go there's your code you can't tell by the code card if it's what print run it is really you can only tell by looking at the cards. All right, here we go. We got a Koga, Brock's Peter City Gem, Ekans, Psyduck. Can we get our first shiny? Clefairy, Slowpoke. Nope. We got a Reverse Graveler, and we got a Full Art Bird Trio. Gotta have the birds in every video of Hidden Fates. We'll put that with the Raichu. See how many pulls we get out of each ten. Wow, that one opened up just like butter. I love it. All right. Two more packs for the Raichu. Then we have Gyarados. And then I guess we'll end it off with the Charizard. All right. We have a Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Clefairy. Medicup, Clep, Clep. Woohoo. Shiny Vulpix. We will take that. And then Erica's Hospitality, but look at that. You can obviously tell centering is an issue. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit thinner. And yeah, looks beautiful though, other than the centering. So hey, well, at least we got a baby shiny out of that one. All right, last pack of the Raichu. See if we can get us a full art now. All right, here we go. Four to the front. Ready, set, go. Got some metal. Brock's Grit, Misty's Gem, Chauncey, Cubone, Jigglypuff, Eevee, Caterpie, Paris. Oh, yes! Shiny Ho -Oh GX. That is a beautiful looking card. The centering looks really good. Nice. And we got a Bills analysis. Let's take a better look. Side to side almost looks perfect. Up and down, it's a little bit shifted up. Let's take a look at the back. That's what we want to see. And yes, looks very good on the back as well. I do have this for my, my main binder. I have completed that set, but I needed this for my second set. I'm going for a two times shiny volt completion. 
Next up, we got Gyarados. Let's see if Gyarados will have the similar hit rate. That was pretty good. You got a baby shiny. And we got that ho o -Oh g x Love that one. All right, we got that. We have our four packs. Let's see how many art. Okay, we got an all art set of that. Now let's go ahead and get into that. All right, there's your code card for the Gyarados. And we'll put Gyarados right there. Let's see what we get out of these four packs. Here we go. Gyarados is the one that usually I've pulled my Charizards from. We did end up pulling a Charizard from this print run. I'll show you guys at the end. The very first tin, it was a Charizard tin. I let my son open it. And of course, like always, he pulled the shiny Charizard again. I will show you guys at the end though. Very good looking card except for one thing. I'll have to show you. Alright, we got a reverse Geodude. And then holographic Brock's training. So that's our first holo. I haven't seen a whole lot of hollows coming out of this print run either. Which is a little weird. Okay. Let's see if we can get us another full art shiny. Not I'm not expecting to get another Charizard. That would be crazy to get two Charizard Shiny GXs out of the same case. These did come from a sealed case. Got them from Pokey Charles. Link down in the description if you want to get something. There we go, Shiny Rowlet and a Mew. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at this Shiny. This one is thicker on this side, thinner on that side, but hey, still a beautiful, beautiful Shiny Pokemon. Sleeve it up and put it with the Gary. All right, Charizard G X Pack. Let's see what Charizard brings for us. All right, four to the front. Let's go. Chansey, Sabrina, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck. Reverse Magmar, and then Lapras. So we haven't gotten really much out of that rare slot. Which, I mean, we're really only looking for the shiny slot, right? Alright, four to the front. Oh, we did get that Full Art Birds, though. We did get that. Alright. Misty, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee... Shiny Curlia, so another baby shiny, and an Erica's Hospitality. So there we go. We ended up with two baby shinies from Gyarados. Last but not least, we have the Charizard 10. Here we go. Let's get into the 10. Let's get everything out. All right, four packs. All right, there's your code. And we'll put our Charizard right over here let's move these stacks and here's our packs we got another art set okay let's start it off with this charizard pack all right guys last four packs i cannot complain about these hits though pretty good can't complain all right let's get into this first pack of the charizard 10. come on guys let's get it going we got to get a little bit more hyped we got a magic card Star you Voltorb. Hey, Ralt Shiny, and look at that centering way off. Hey, and we got a Raichu from the Charizard 10. We'll sleeve it, put it with the Zard. But yes, the centering is a big issue with this print run, as you can tell. Back as well. All right, hey, we got a Shiny though. I'll take an off center Shiny over a, ho a reverse hollow. There we go. There's your code. Let me know what you get. Hope you guys are pulling those shiny Zards or whatever it is you want to pull online. Here we go. Koga's Trap, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Reverse Ekans, and an Arbok. So it evolved. Okay. All right. We got a Mew Pack. And we're going to end it on the shiny Mew Pack. There we go. Can we get one more? Full art shiny. I think we can do it. I think we can. 
All right, Koga's Trap, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Eevee, Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, and a Jolteon. Okay, guys, last pack. Let's see what we got. There is your code card. Four to the front. Ready, set, go. A champ energy. We have a Brock script, Misty's Gym, Geo Dude, Jigglypuff, Star You, Ekans, Eevee, Misty Cerulean City Gym. We got a Misty's Water Command. But the big winner today has to be the Riot2 GX10 with that full art ho oh shiny. But I want to go ahead and show you guys that Charizard GX shiny that my son pulled. And here it is. Look at the centering on this baby. That thing is perfect almost. Look at this side. There's no whitening, no dings, no nothing. But the big problem lies right here. Check it out. There is a imprint on the edge. It looks like a little dog to me. But yes, it looks like it was made into the card. It's not like damage or something that was done to it. It looks like it was made that way. But hey, we'll put this in our binder. We might even send this off to PSA and see what they say about it. But yes, let me know what you guys think about these tins. Do you like them? I think they're pretty good. But yes, that's all we have for today. If you guys enjoyed this, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys in the next one.